And we are actually going to start with our lighter body red first. Okay. And this is the Buddy's Bistro Red. This is actually a, um, a wine that we name after the uh, winery mascot, Buddy. And um, we do donate a dollar to a local animal organization um, on behalf of Buddy. Um, for every bottle of this, we sell each year. But this is um, this is um, a bistro style wine. It's actually going to drink like a Pinot Noir style. Um, the difference with this clone of Cabernet, it's a Cabernet, single varietal Cabernet Franc. But this particular clone actually ages very mellow. It's actually going to drink more similar to like a Pinot Noir style on the palate. So you'll get a lot of red ripe fruit on the palate, real soft, subtle tannins. But on the finish, you will pick up a, that classic Cab Franc character. It's just a nice, smooth pepper finish that lingers. So it's a really nice, easy on the palate um, red wine that you can have during the summertime. Um, you can even put this, ser um, serve this at a cellar temperature. It's going to be a lot more refreshing than something really um, heavy and rich for the summer. Um, what I would pa I would pair this with anything that has a little bit of spice. It's great like for the summertime for if you're if you're grilling out in the backyard. You know anything you throw on the grill, this is going to be wonderful with. Um, also anything that has um, spice to it, like. Um, uh, Italian food, um, Mexican food, anything that has a, that pepper and spice to it, this will accent it really well because it will accentuate the spices in the in the food. It takes a minute, and then all of a yeah. sudden it starts to it's like it takes a second, and all of a sudden you have pepper. You're like, right. There it is. And, and the neat thing about this wine is that it, this is a Clone Seven Cabernet Franc. Um, it just ages mellow like this naturally. We don't do anything to mm -hmm. it um, because we make all of our wine here natural. But um, the the really nice thing about this is typically most Cab Francs are really dark and rich and mm -hmm. heavy. This is not. So this is also a really um, great wine for people who are trying to get into reds. It's very fruit driven, fruit forward. And so people who want to um, you know, transition from whites into reds. This is a very nice transition wine for them. Do you find that a lot in Virginia? It's just, you know, people um, come and they start kind of with sweet wines. And yeah, they, they, with they generally will start with, like, um, what you're going to try at the end of our menu, which yeah. is going to be the apple wine, um, where you can't really, um, where you don't have a whole lot of tannins. Right. That's what, what they generally start with, something a little bit sweeter. They'll transition maybe into a rosé, and then eventually um, to whites. But some people will jump right into the reds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if, it, if they're fruit forward, and, um, you know, we do things different. Um, our winemaker oversees our vineyards and mm -hmm. so he decides when to harvest the fruit and when you do that you're gonna get really he he makes sure the fruit is ripe and rich and um, we also um, de-stem and hand sort our red so you're not gonna get a lot of that tannic texture that you get a lot of times in wine because um, we are uh, de-stemming then we do a hand sort where we actually will um, it's tedious and it's labor-intensive but when you do that you're gonna your fruits gonna be clean when it goes into mm -hmm. fermentation and then be pressed it's gonna be clean when it's pressed so you're not gonna get a lot of that really tannic texture you get a lot of times um, and so it makes it they're more fruit driven it's right. got a lot of fruit on the palate and then it lingers so this is nice for people um, you know in general if they don't drink red wine or uh, whether they drink red wine or not if they're gonna drink um, try one it's gonna have a lot of fruit on the palate right. as opposed to tannin that grips you on this the front end yeah more full-bodied red so you're just just in the color you're going to be able to see a big difference with this wine um, this is our North Point red um, 2006 North Point red um, this is a cab heavy Bordeaux style blend um, that it's produced with 50% Cabernet Franc 25% Cabernet Sauvignon and 25% Tanat and um, this wine actually um, it's, it's, a, um, it's a cab heavy Bordeaux uh, blend now we do have a Merlot heavy Bordeaux blend as well but this is going to be much more uh, full and rich you're going to get a lot of dark rich lush fruit on your palate like plum um, blackberry um, you'll and then on the um, the tannins are there but they're very they're lively and they're integrated with the fruit so they're not going to overwhelm the fruit and then it's just got an incredibly smooth finish to it so this is our best seller on our classic flight menu wow big yes very big and a lot of people don't know about the Tanat grape, but um, we do use the Tanat grape as a blend. We do have a single varietal um, on the reserve menu as well. But anytime you use that Tanat grape, it's going to um, give it some body. It's going to give it some depth and complexity to it. You're going to have that rich fruit. Definitely. You almost want to sit down to have that one. You know? Yeah. Great pair with red meat. If you mm -hmm. like um, lamb, or this is a f for filet, filet mignon. Um, uh, any of these go with dessert? Like the uh, um, or anything like that? The the bottom two will the bottom two. the bottom two that we're well the two that we're about to try actually will pair really really nice um, with dessert. I typically this is actually a meal wine the one that we just had here um, the North the Buddy's Be Sure having that pepper on it it's a little kind of hard and it clashes a little bit with um, food so you wouldn't want to I mean with dessert so you wouldn't want to serve that with dessert. You might actually be able to um, use the North Point White because it has that that um, nice rich citrus character that we preserved mm -hmm. using the um, stainless steel. You might use that with 
with a, with a, a special kind of dessert that would be complemented with... Yes, um,